Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and welcome back to Transport Favor Sandbox Edition. And in the last episode, we got Santa Clarita connected up with rail. We don't got much else connected. We also did connect up Memphis with this uh, exchange here. And uh, that spent a bit of time on that. And we have that. We are running, of course, on the new patch that came out probably a few days ago, if not a week ago or so. And yeah, as soon as I saw the patch out, I'm like, yeah, I should probably get back to doing Transport Fever. I've been away doing a whole lot of other things, mostly Seven Days to Die, although that's tailed off and I'm no longer playing it regularly. For, there, for a while there, I was playing basically 12 hours a day. I was in a single player world with uh, the zombies turned off and uh, that was nice and relaxing and uh, yeah now next up we have Ontario and Denver to connect up and Ventura I wanted to run a rail line from Santa Clarita to Ontario over here to Cedar Rapids As well as I'm going to have a Memphis to Ontario to Denver line. Although now that I'm thinking about this, how am I going to set this up? Or do I just have two separate stations in Ontario? One servicing traffic going this way, another servicing traffic going this way. First of all, where is my residential? Residential's all on this side, so. Mm. And then I want to go up to Cedar Rapids. You know what, I'm going to work on this part first because reasons. So Cedar Rapids, we have this line here actually yeah we're coming up to 2000 we'll be getting that achievement for wow yeah antique is it antique keep a train built before 1900 running until the year 2000 so that's probably one of them is it is it 81 years old yes it is no it's not It is potentially one of them. How about this one? You are 96 years old, yes. As soon as you reach 100 years of age, or the other one, there's I think two trains that are 100 years of age, or we'll get to 100 years of age very soon. Um, yeah, about that. So we are going to work on this because we want to connect up with this. So now we have the crossovers here so we are going to want to or do I yep I've already decided I'm going to right now there's only one line running in here and I put two lines in so yeah I bet that the simple solution would be to just do some sort of tight corner because I do kind of got to get around this hill so crossing through there now do I do it there or do I do it say back here or back here actually the back here might be better All right, so we are going to just go from here. And I want to figure out what is the most optimal corner and path. All right, the most optimal path is probably along on that side right there. So what is the...
let's start with say 120 as the we have a collision collision with what with that all right very well there we still have a collision seriously we still have a f are you going to be freaking annoying yes you are oh wow this is especially epic oh there's no collision there Collision there. Let's try here. Apparently there's a collision there. Over here, there's a collision with that. So what we are going to do, we're just going to delete this because it's a troublemaker. We don't like troublemakers here. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, indeed. We can always put it back in, so I'm not too concerned. So we're going to have this at a minimum of 120 for the curve not that it matters and then we are going to let's try 180 for the next section of the yep perfect and what I'm going to do I'm gonna throw it on that so I can see Hey! Alright, yeah, we're going to want to bring it through here. Wow, makes uh, roads... Makes seeing roads a lot easier. So you can destroy them. Ho oh, oh. Awesome. Now, we are going to... Go to about there. Yeah, roughly. And now we're going to go to that. And how am I going to do this? We're also going to have a freight line coming along this side of the river. We have a coal mine here, which I'll probably put a station here. So I'm going to want to come over top. I going to do over here first of all where is the that's right I don't really want to put it over here I have to put it over here but I don't want to put it over there I should have thought about this before now we are going to Question, if I were to have tracks going like this, what would the speed for something like that be? Actually, that wouldn't be that bad. Am I going to bring it around that side? to build two separate train stations maybe we might build one all right so we are going to want a four platform station 
high speed 320 tenery sure probably won't ever use them but then we won't have to upgrade our tracks so I kind of want it right here actually that wouldn't be that bad one hand we can could do this and now what we can do then or do we I twisted it going that way because I thought I'd be going that way. Turns out I'm not going that way. So we're not going to go that way. We're going to tear this apart as we can. And now we are going to. possibly do that um, I'm not what I'll do is do that for now and then we are going to Because just like over here, I think it is, or no, no, it's over here. What we need to do is kind of cross the tracks. All right, so we are going to want to bring the Memphis, Ontario, Denver on this side. Yep, that side will be 120. And then we are going to be bringing from the other side. One twenty like that. We will correct that if necessary. to just send this across because it's gonna go that yep all right so we are then going to bring this over but we are going to raise it up so that we can bridge let's aim for 200 ish Although, with that said, are we bringing any river traffic down this way? Not really. So we don't need to raise this up. All right, that's fine. We're not going to bother with raising it up. And then 300, yep. 
so that's on the left side and then on the left side oh did I build the wrong bridge yes I did necessarily matters because I doubt we're gonna get a train going up 300 kilometers an hour from there to there so <sighs> yeah about that all right now we are going to want to Yeah, tear this apart once again. And from here, that's on the right side. That is on the right side. reasons there's always a reason to smooth <laughs> and yeah I didn't do any of this off screen so I'll do it right now because reasons <laughs> all right so we have Memphis splitting off there coming over to here doing a cross what I'd like to do is Signal there, signal there, signal there, and signal there. And we're also going to put a signal there and there. Because reasons in the event of a turnaround, really, what do you complain? Seriously? How does this affect that? Oh my god. These issues have gotten even worse. Seriously? Yeah, take that. Now, I better do this side. <laughs> uh, I don't have to do it, but... Since it won't generally be used for anything... to want to send this around like that all right so we are just going to do a 60 degree 60 km an hour yep we're going to make sure to do it flat In the, in the event of any problems. And now we are going to send this to Denver next. Ninety is fine. Wait a minute. We want to make 
make sure it's flat. Since this is very close, I'm not going to put any signals there because I don't necessarily want a train to block that. Alright, here's a question. I can... Oh, indeed. If I want to make this... Interesting. So the train, any trains coming this way could go that way or trains could go that way. Although that looks a little, uh, we're just gonna remove it. We don't need to, we have separate dedicated platforms for each direction of travel. All right, so we have the rail or the contours are doing that. Let's go to say a 200 kilometer hour curve, not that it matters. Potentially seven million dollar bridge. You know what? You're going to go along the slope here. tunnel if we're going to go through there. Um, where are we coming out? We're coming out right there. Let's bring this across. And this is at height. Wherever this is. Height, 150, and this is at 186. All right, well, okay, no problem. Let's tear apart that for these reasons. Now, do I do a bridge? There's iron ore there. I'll probably bring the iron ore down, so... Yeah, we will bridge it. We'll do that. And instead... Large, not large road, lar large street, large country road. Uh, nope, we don't want to do that. Too bad there.
you want to embankment. Where is the other side? The other side is right over here. And apparently we have some collisions and terrain alignment collisions. What do we have collisions with? Something. Um, looks like they still need to work on this. Wow. Really? Five hundred sixty-nine. Bring this over to about there. And can we embankment? Yes, we can. Awesome. Cause too many issues there. Perfect. Now from here over to here. That's maintaining 300 with the exception of that bridge. It's not going to be a bridge, it's going to be an embankment because I like embankments. And that is a little bit, yeah, about that. So that was on the right side. Please tell me I got it wrong. Oh, I got the right side, yes. Let's extend that. We're going to extend this. Apparently that is just too steep, that it cannot create a proper embankment. And there we go. One of the problems with this game as you get uh, on in the years is that especially for YouTube it can turn into a situation where you do a whole lot of hours of work off screen and then you come back and you spend a half an hour hour doing a show and tell on what you did off screen and you don't actually do any <laughs> stuff on screen and so yeah I'm more or less at that point where there's a lot of stuff to do a lot of small detail stuff and I like to do a lot or as much on screen as possible but sometimes the fine detail work is just too much to do on screen it will never look truly pretty like some people who can just have a knack for sitting there for hours and just beautify up an area put loads of trees put lots of props I put down a bunch of trees I put down a building or two I'm done I'm done <laughs> I don't want to do any more than that I used to do city skylines on the channel and that was problematic you'd start it fine and then you get to a point where you're just simply doing a ton of stuff off screen in order to prepare for doing some stuff on screen that it was just a lot more work than I want to put in for a series on YouTube because reasons because time to record and all that and uh, yeah One thing I do have to say is that Seven Days to Die tends to be, at least the way I've been 
recording it has been very easy to record and edit. Just play for four hours and then just cut the episode up and not do any editing. Leave everything in, don't do anything off screen, because reasons. Yeah, how about that? All right, so we got that section of the track connected, going all the way up to Cedar Rapids, and we can see that that has been connected. So we now will have a line from Santa Clarita to Ontario, up to Cedar Rapids. We're gonna have another one from Memphis to Ontario. And we will, of course, work our way over to Ventura. We are going to want to have a train station over here, plus a bridge, plus a lot of stuff. We're only going to want to have two tracks. I speak Teneries. And we are going to bring it over to here. It's going to be coming right in there. Yep. Awesome. And I might as well throw it right about there. Am I going to do a second street connection? Yeah, sure. Might as well. All right, how am I going to do this? Uh, we might as well just bridge it over because reasons. Collision. Collision. Or not. <laughs> Okay, about that. Yeah, that works out. And then we want to is on the left side and that is on the left side although first what I want to do I want to make sure that this is on the flat like that all right so that's on the left side and then we do the other side. All right. Sure, that will work. Yeah. Perfect. And now we are going to want to cross over here to come over here to Ventura, who has residential over on this side, roughly speaking. Uh, yeah, we're going to come out along, possibly. I'm almost thinking I should have come this way. But that should be fine. Although that's a fairly steep slope there. I suspect I'll be tunneling part of this. Alright, so we are going to have residential over here. A 
large street. across like that. Uh, no, don't do that. Actually, don't even do that. No, 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 don't. There you go. So what I'm going to do, we are, actually I'm going to want to have it go this way, I think. I think. Mm -hmm. For now, we are just going to throw it here. And I actually only need the one because I'm not going to have another line running over to Cedar Rapids. We'll throw that there and then we'll just throw a depot on the end of this. to 180. Sure, that works. Although with that said, you're going to tear apart that. And we're going to tear apart that. That should be fine. Three hundred. down to 1.92 billion dollars in the bank all right so we're going to build that bridge 300 we have a little bit of a tunnel there that's fine for me although with that said did I put that on the right track I think I did 
and we got some collisions. Start with that. Yep, we put it on the right side. There you go. We take a look at speeds. That is the Ventura Denver Ontario Memphis line. bit that. Alright, so anyone coming from Cedar Rapids can get to Memphis by transferring here. Anyone that wants to go from the Waco Phoenix line to Memphis will need to stop off at Santa Clarita and drop off there. And then we have There's no direct connection from this line over to this line. All right about that. But that is just what it is. So we got those lines connected up. We got the stations put in. We got a whole lot of other stuff. I think I'm going to leave it there. In the next episode, I suspect what I am going to want to do is I've not decided yet. <laughs> we will definitely set up the lines and then we will get everything up and running. We'll throw some trains on that. So there is one line is going to be extended. Another line is going to be created here. A third line is going to be created there. Other than that, that is about it. Anyway, at this point in time, what I'm going to do is say thank you for joining me for this episode of transport fever we got the rest of the map connected up with at least passenger rail i never did get around to the um industrial freight but uh oh that's gonna be a yeah i might be putting this series on hold in the near future not that it wasn't already on hold for a month and a half or so but that's just the way it works sometimes anyway Thank you for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever. Thank you for watching. My name is Scott for SB Gaming. And as always, have a good day.